I guess that nobody will challenge the fact that uh, getting domain information to detect threats is actually very, very uh, important. I'm highlighting in this video a tool that is in the App Exchange called Domain Tools. You need a subscription from these guys. Let me actually show you what it actually does. Here's the dashboard. I mean, when you go, when you install the app, and more on that later, you get this tab for domain tools. And when you go there, you see that in my house, it's been, you know, detecting 202 domain resolutions and there's nothing malicious. That's going to change. I'm going to fire some, I'm going to replace some logs that has some access to malicious domain. And we will see this light up with a bunch of information. The tool also has this domain profile that allows you to investigate any website at all and get all the certificate information about it and all the details, right? And so we can actually see an example of a benign uh, certificate here and has a component for diagnostic of to see whether it is communicating with the mother mother uh, ship for uh, updating the information and the information works if we go to the api i notice that in the on the references on the map if you click try it out you get one table at least one table this uh, dts domain tool domains risk score and that's what is going to be used in curator for detecting uh, malicious domain name resolutions so I'm here in the log activity tab, not much going on. And if I, that's actually the wrong screen. If I run the, use the log run to replace on logs, notice that there, is a, there are a bunch of UBAs actually uh, acting on this as well. But we see a lot of So I actually paused the video and put a couple of filters uh, not to show the UBA components. And we see that there are all these uh, web proxy events. We can actually click into any one of those and see all those strange URLs uh, being referred to. Notice that also I get the X-Force because I'm subscribed to the X-Force. The X-Force also detected uh, those uh, access to those uh, domains. And if we go back to the domain tools dashboard, and let's actually update that. We should see definitely some changes. We see that they are high risk domain. They are not John domain. This is actually, I like this. Um, unfortunately, in the demo sample that I have, I don't have any, any new registered, uh, new certificate registered. But if you are a target of choice, the, the bad guys will not reuse a URL We'd not reuse any IOCs in order to avoid detection. And we definitely, most likely, will use issue a certificate for the domain they're using against you. And that is going to be flagging here. Not every time that you get a young domain is, ma is bad, because it can be that somebody just uh, renew their certificate, but it's uh, something worth investigating. And we see these uh, uh, registered names in here. We actually have more panels down here on the emails and the risk score. And again, because I, I'm putting all these domains are all malicious, then you get that top risk. But in, normally, you should get one or two that actually indicates that somebody went where they're not supposed to. One thing I also like about these guys is that they keep track of uh, phishing uh, URLs. So if somebody is doing exploration and somebody's trying to uh, attack you or do a spear, preparing a spear phishing attack against you, most likely it will be flagged in here as well. One more thing that you can do is you can actually perform AQL searches like uh, the one I, I did here in which and I'm going to put this in a in my box folder that is in the video description. I'm going to put a folder for domain tools so you don't have to, you know, uh, you can copy the, the URL from there and modify it. You, you, in your case, you will have to change whatever proxy log, if it's blue code, WebSense, uh, 
in my case is my squid proxy here at home and we can actually see the list of the domains that has been malicious you can actually make this modify this aql search or actually use it uh, pretty much the way it is to use it inside an, an offense uh, test in order to have an offense that fires whenever a malicious domain is detected i think it is a great addition to, to q reader's uh, toolbox and you i encourage you to take a look at it and see if you want to try it uh, in order to enhance your uh, threat intelligence capabilities with Curator.